All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the wait, but we're here. We made it. Got some situation with uh, Instagram and Facebook, but whew, we did it. So, hi. Hi, Clara. Uh, I'm Nicole. I'm at Art Space. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for tuning in. I am your local mermaid for the night. Got my hair all did. I even got my, got my scales and my gills for you. So we're going to do a lovely watercolor tonight. And I hope you enjoy it. And hopefully we can get this done in a timely manner, right? And also relax because I really would love to relax a bit. This has been a crazy week. It's been a crazy time. It's time to just chill. So I've got my glass of wine. I invite you to grab a glass for yourself. Some fizzy water, some whatever you like, whatever makes you comfortable, whatever helps you want wine. Maybe it's a glass of chamomile tea. That sounds great too. So I'm gonna go over real quick kind of what I have in mind, uh, what supplies I'm gonna use, and then we're gonna get started. And please feel free to jump in and chat with me and talk to me because I can see comments from everybody. So please feel free, this is your time too. This is your time to get involved. So right now, okay. So right now I have down here, this is just some watercolor paper. I'll turn the camera down a little bit. There you go. I'm just gonna move it back a little bit. Hang on. Okay, so I've got watercolor paper down here and I just used some painter's tape because I really like that nice clean finished line on the edges. So I already laid that down. There's probably like a quarter of an inch, I'd say, on either ends, all the way at the ends. So it's just a little bit, not a lot. Uh, I've got my watercolors. As I said, this before, if you haven't seen it, this is just watercolors. I think I picked these up from the dollar store. There's nothing fancy to them. Uh, so this one is just basic. I mean, I don't know how else to describe it. I think it's for the kids in the kids section, the dollars. So we need to move the camera a little bit farther forward. No? Okay. I can see you. Okay. So watercolors. Um, I've got also some brushes here. These brushes are not anything fancy. Uh, most of the time, honestly, I use probably just this particular brush. And again, really not fancy, but I grab some other ones just in case if I feel like using them. So right here, I've got big fluffy brush and then I've got a flat tip brush. And I, for some finer work, I also grabbed some really teeny, teeny, tiny ones. Really teeny, tiny. Not much to those. So. Those are my brushes. I've got my watercolors. You can, if you have them at home, feel free to use liquid watercolor. This is like the really fancy stuff. Um, I don't use these a whole lot just because they make a mess and you can bleed through the paper really fast if you're not careful. But I grabbed it just in case if you guys wanted to see it, work with it, we can try. Uh, and if that is the case, I also have a palette so that way I can use that water because watercolors of course and then wine for the artist Aha. so my plan tonight is I was gonna make a jellyfish we're gonna do some jellies in the ocean cuz you know mermaids swimming out in the water jellies floating out in the water just sounded like a natural progression of things so that's what i'm going to work on today and i'm going to use my big fat fluffy brush to get me started so what i'm going to do is i know i'm going to have right along in here and this is where i'm going to have my jellies float 
So I'm going to just kind of do some water around the outside. Not all the way, just a little bit. You can also, this is watercolor paper, so this absorbs the water really well and like it works. I mean, this is what it's meant, meant for, but if you have paper at home, I've used just journals, super easy. I think you left your lights on. Oh. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm sure you guys, if you've been lucky, you've got to go out and enjoy it some. Now I'm just getting things wet around the edges, just like this. And then I'm going to go in with some blue. So I'm up with some blue. And what you do when you're working with watercolors is you're gonna kind of put it off to the side a little bit. You don't want too much. This is where you're gonna mix your colors a lot. So I'm gonna put some blue in here. Oh, hi, Simon. How are you? <laughs> I told you I'd be a mermaid this week. I'm gonna take my blue now and I'm just gonna come in and I'm gonna let the water do the work, okay? Let the tendrils just move with it. You can help it out a little bit, but let the water do the work. Think of the ocean. It's flowing, gorgeous. Just let it come in. Let the ocean wash over us, right? Sound a little bit like last week. Last week I did a piece uh, Bob Ross. We were inspired by him, so we worked with his techniques. And we made some beautiful trees, happy trees. And this week we're gonna make some beautiful waves. This is one of those times where you can make waves, guys. So I'm just letting the paint work its way around. No particular order. No particular way. Got a lot of paint still on here, so I'm gonna use some water and dilute it and just work it a little bit towards the center some more and just let it be breezy. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. Flowing. Darken the edges a little bit. Some deeper blues. Do it work. Let it spiral out. Tendrils. We're just here to help it along. Give a little push. Honestly, when it comes to painting, the hardest part is getting started. Hi, Cleveland. How are you this week? Nice to see you. Well, you're here. I see you. I see you. You know what I mean. <laughs> I hope everybody's enjoying the beautiful weather out, but safely, okay? I hope everybody's being safe. Say hi back. <laughs> like I said, I can see all your comments, folks. I, if you want to chime in, 
jump in and say hi. I can see you. Alright, so I've kind of got some water moving. A little bit of glow, a little bit of light. Okay. Now it's jellyfish time, right? And I think the best way to go about this, in my opinion, is take my favorite brush, a teeny, just tapered end. It's not a lot, just like that, okay? I think I've got a little bit of dust in it from last time, so shh. I've been working with watercolors a lot at home, just goofing off. Because that's what you do, right? So I'm gonna go in. I think I'm gonna do some pinks and purple for my jellyfish. And since I don't really have a particular pink, I'm going to make one. That means I need some red, and then I'm gonna dilute it. Don't knock over your wine, Nicole. That would be heart-wrenching. So I'm just gonna keep diluting it. Said I want a nice pink color. Oh, I think we're getting close. soft color and I'm gonna do the same with my purple so my purple I'm gonna dilute it and keep diluting it I want almost a pastel just to get the general shape the general outline Oh, almost. That's a nice purple. Alright. So I'm going to take my red with my tapered paintbrush. Oh, you did a tulip painting on a bottle last night. Nice. I will have to check that out. Cleveland, thank you. I am very curious. I have a few few wine bottles that would be really nice to paint on. Ideas. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to take my pinky color and I'm just going to make the general shape. With the, for the top of the jellyfish. And I'll just fill that in very softly. Just like that. Maybe I'll do a tiny jellyfish down here. Just a little guy. I've been watching a bunch of Disney movies lately. I'm sure you guys have had some time to do that too. I've been enjoying that. Been watching, rewatching Finding Nemo. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Oh, hi, Elizabeth. Hi, Katie. <laughs> hi, Mimi. We've got lots of people tuning in. I'm glad you could be here. We're doing a watercolor tonight. If you haven't noticed, it's under the sea theme. So I've got mermaid attire on. I really like this shirt. <laughs> so, super fun. Even did a little mermaid makeup for you. I've got my gills. <laughs> All right. So I've got a couple little jellies through there. I'm gonna go in with some purple now. purple. Same thing, just going to fill in the tops to the jellyfish. Just the tops. 
We're just kind of doing little half circles, little C's. I think I want to do a nice big jellyfish up here though. He's gonna rule the sea. How's that sound? Big jelly to take on all the other jellies. King of the jellies. So it's nice and soft. Jellies. Kind of placed out where we want. We'll come down in here. Do another soft little. We'll do a medium sized jelly. We've got a lot of little jellies. We need some medium guys. They're not all the same size. We're all different. So are jellies. I got this guy down here. Yes. So I got a few jellies coming up. Pretty relaxed. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water. And I'm going to draw little lines. Little tentacles all the way up. No particular order, rhythm, nothing. I got no plans for this, guys. Do some little dots up the sides. It's dangerous jellyfish sometimes. Sometimes they're scary. Got those weird little things that can hurt you. I hope nobody every year has to deal with jellies. So I'm just gonna keep going. Add some little dots. Follow the jellyfish tentacles. Now, this is kind of the fun part. So you put all that water down, and I'm gonna take some of the deeper purple that I made, and then put that water down. And I'm just gonna let the paint drip down those tentacles in different ways. Instagram, give me just a hot second, okay? We're gonna switch up the camera a little bit since we just noticed that it's goofy. Sorry. Facebook, you're doing fine. <laughs> just gonna use where I put the water. I'll put my little blobs of color in there. just a nice relaxing painting to be honest. You don't have to think about anything other than just those soft movements of the water. Maybe it's been a hard week. I know it's been a little bit crazy with everything and it's starting to feel a little stir crazy out there but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. 
another. Oh, I'm actually a right right handed, but the way the camera is set up, it does look like I'm a lefty. So, uh, my brother's left handed though. He's pretty good at it, obviously. Um, I did teach him how to play guitar right handed though. So more than anything, he's pretty ambidextrous, which I think is pretty cool if you end up being a lefty and still do that. This says a lot about how your brain thinks. Unfortunately, uh, I was corrected very early on that I was supposed to be right-handed, so I am still right-handed. <laughs> Just the way things go sometimes. Alright. Got one of the tendrils done. For right now. I feel like I'm gonna come come back and add stuff as I go. But paint needs to dry. The girl needs to paint. So that's why I'm Little tendrils for the tiny little jellyfish. I think it might be easier, in fact, with my smaller brush. Oh yeah, much easier. I mean, you can make these tendrils as long as you want because in the wild, these little suckers, they got tentacles crazy long. I think some of them end up being like 15 feet. So don't feel like you need to stifle yourself, okay? However you want to do is just right. Loving the smaller brush for this work. Looking soft, delicate. You don't even have to connect every line to your jellyfish. Let's just imagine it's just gonna keep going. Oh, yes. Hi, Instagram. We're back. Thanks for tuning back in. Jump back in, guys. We got this. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna keep going. I've got a couple of jellyfish with their tentacles going. And I'm just adding more and more tentacles, basically. And it's pretty relaxing because they're just kind of squiggly lines, however you want. I'm gonna do a few little dots. How they all mix them together. It's almost like squid tentacles, but I realize that squid tentacles and jellyfish tentacles are not the same thing, so don't worry about it, right? It's more about making art than it is about making perfection. looks flowy and I'm just kind of placing these out anyways I'm not I'm gonna take some of the blue and go back in and blend everything together with the water so I'm not worried about it too much <laughs> it's been technical difficulties with the cameras and everything today oh my goodness We'll get there. We'll get there. Thanks for being patient with us, guys. Jeez. 
Yeah. If you got your wine, now's a good time to. Cheers. Mm. Yum. This makes me miss my time out with the water. It'll be that time again soon. Summertime's coming. We'll get to go out by the water and enjoy all of that again. It hasn't left us. It's just hiding temporarily. Right? I was, oh goodness, my last year of high school, I actually got to go on a cruise. I didn't know how much I'd like it till I got there. And I'll tell you what, that was quite the experience. I will never forget it. I loved it. I thought it was like just amazing, simply amazing. Um, my mom, grandmother, brother, we all went out uh, at one point and we went snorkeling. And I'll tell you a secret, I'm terrified of fish. Um, I don't like fish scales too much, so, at, like at all. Uh, it makes me blech. But I like mermaids, I like eating fish. I just don't want to descale the fish. So maybe that's where I, uh, that's where I cut out. Uh, so for the cruise, Donna, I ended up going uh, to Belize, Cozumel, Isla Rotan, and there was another place we made port, but I can't remember. You have to forgive me, it's been a while, but it was a great, it was just around uh, the Caribbean. Um, but we went snorkeling and it was so much fun. I absolutely adored it. It took me a hot minute or two to get used to the fish being around me because I was very, very shy about the fish touching me. And I do not like fishy touchies. No, thank you. I know, you know, fish are friends and all of that, but it really just, mm, mm, mm. Um, within like two or three minutes of being in the water though, I realized that the fish don't want to have anything to do with me. So I was very happy with that. And then I proceeded to swim like crazy. Um, I believe that was in Cozumel. So I ended up, uh, I believe there was a, an underwater like art gallery. It was made out of stone. It was made, supposed to bring back a lot of the- uh, our friends and all of that, but really just Sorry, folks. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, the water. Uh, so it ended up being really cool because there was a like art gallery underwater, which was amazing. Uh, it was supposed to help bring back the, the coral in that area, like rebuild it, and it was working really well. Uh, so my brother and I, at that point, got brave enough, and I was feeling confident enough. He and I can both swim really well, so I ended up diving down as far as I could to check out the, those stones, those statues, and they were really cool. I really would have liked it if I could have got some pictures, but I don't think at that time it was like super affordable to get like the GoPro and all of that yet. So slight bummer, but you know, what have you, what have you. Hi Erin, thanks for tuning in, hello. <laughs> yeah, it ended up being a lot of fun though. We went on a silly pirate ship tour. I don't know if you guys have ever done that, but it was a lot of fun. I was like 18 years old and it was not supposed to be for my age and I did not care. I went swimming, I jumped off the high dive, I did all sorts of things. Uh, there was even at one point they had like one of those, they were, it was a pirate ship so they do a reenactment and the pirate ship was super funny because 
They made you get down with a toothbrush and swab the deck. And here I am, the oldest bunch of the kids, doing exactly that. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. No regrets. <laughs> All right, so I've got some tentacles in here. I'm going to take my big brush again and get some of the water out of that. I'm going to go in with some more blue. Soften it. And I know I'm going to cover up my jellies, but the jellies are underwater. That's where they live. That's where they're happy. Don't worry. And I, I want to do this anyways, because I want to make the colors all start to meld together that are from the jellies. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, Donna wants to try one, a cruise, but you weren't, oh, stuck about being on a ship. Um, maybe you can try one of, like, the European ones, where they make port pretty much every night. I really liked it. I thought it was a great time. I would definitely, in a heartbeat, do it again. I'm just blending together. Soften the look. Softening the jellies. They, you know, they can be a little painful sometimes, so I'm going to soften them. Use a little bit more blue in that corner. Ooh, look at that. melting everything together. Oop, paintbrush. <laughs> Don't worry about it, right? As our friend Bob Boff Ross would say, happy accidents. Happy accidents. <laughs> Alright, so we kind of blended those together, but I feel like we needed some light coming in. So I'm going to use some yellow, and just real softly make some streaks across. It's going to look a little green, that's fine. Those lights, everything kind of goes together anyways. If you don't like it, don't worry about it, because once you let everything dry, you can give it a hot minute, it'll be fine. So no worries, okay? I'm gonna just blend it out. There's gonna be some yellow, a little bit of green, water, it likes to wiggle and do all sorts of things. Okay. I still got my jellies in there. I'm gonna use some pink or some blue and I'm going to put together some purple and get a nice deep color almost like an indigo and come around the edges and just swirl together use your water I'm definitely self-taught when it comes to using watercolor. I only started using them a few months ago, mostly because it's pretty easy to travel with. and It's really easy to just pick up and grow up and like get slowly better at. And <clears throat> um, my forte, I guess, has always kind of been in color blending. So this is kind of where I decided since it was coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, I uh, didn't really have a lot of access to colors, to paint. I decided that watercolor would be the trick. And honestly, it's been making me pretty happy recently, so I'm okay with it. So now I've got a nice little fade in coming out. I'll do a little bit thicker. Get some purple just around the edges. I just want to get some definition that 
to make it go, give it some depth, okay? And I don't like using black. I'm not a big fan of the black on the palette. I don't think it's terribly necessary. Even when you have black in a painting, it should, what it honestly should be is dark blue with burnt umber or something. It's never a true black, so I don't like using black. That's just me. But other artists will swear by it, say it's great, it's what you should always use, especially when you want to darken things. That's fine. That's the best part about being an artist. Everybody gets to have their own opinions on stuff. I'm just coming in and playing a little bit, using my brush, being a little silly, being silly with my jellies. I really like my jellies though. I really like my jellies. And because it's under the sea, I also just want to show you my little buddy tonight. It's a little shark. How cute is that, right? I think it's adorable. I'm not, I don't have my own flounder, but I do have my own little shark. And I know it wasn't great, but when I was a kid, I absolutely loved going to SeaWorld. I realized today SeaWorld is a bad thing, so I'm not endorsing SeaWorld at all. But as a child, I was so excited about it. And I always liked the shark section, so. Got our little sharks. Audrey's taking pictures. <laughs> so, got my little shark plush. He's hanging out over here in spirit with me. So if you see him, say hi. <laughs> All right. I also, that gave me a minute or two for my paint to start to dry a little bit. That is one of the nice things I like about watercolors. Oh, goodness. Piece of paintbrush stuck in here. Well, it'll dry. It'll come off when it's dry. Uh, one of the nice things I like about working with watercolors is simply because if you give it a minute and just let it saturate, even if you didn't like it, sometimes if you give it that minute or two, you'll come to like what it is, um, especially once it's dry. So we're going to let it dry. I'm not going to do that the whole time. I'm going to drink some wine instead. <laughs> so if you have any questions, fire away. This is a good time for them. I can regale you with some more stories of my water adventures. Um, mm. Fun fact. My mother, when she was pregnant with me, was still water skiing. Yeah. And I mean, not like giant pregnant with me, but you know, why not? Be fit, be active. I think it's super cool. My mom got to water ski with me, so I've pretty much always been on the water. So I'm totally a little mermaid. Ah, I want to be where the people are. <laughs> uh, like I said, I've been watching so much Disney lately, so. It's fun. It's relaxing. Ah, uh, yes. So now that I gave that a little bit of time to dry, still tacky and wet in some spots, but that's all right. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Ooh, little bubbles. I just used my finger and literally tapped and made bubbles. See, this is what I'm talking about, guys. A lot of the stuff what I'm doing is totally on the fly and I don't even know exactly what's happening. So I like that. Little bubbles on the paint. Nice. I totally forgot. Uh, there's another technique that you can use and it works really, really well. I've done this before uh, with watercolors. When you're painting like this, once you've got everything down and how you want it, you can throw uh, rock salt, like big chunks of rock salt. Uh, I've used, it's just sea salt, basically, the chunks of it, and you just throw it down on the paint. 
on your paper. It doesn't have to be watercolor paper. It could be regular paper too. But if you throw that down and let it dry just like that, so this is the last step to your technique, throw your salt down, sea salt, and it leaves such a cool design. It like fractals out and makes uh, little dots, little white specks because the salt and the water, they react, especially with the color in there, and you can see that reaction on the paper. It looks amazing. I'm not gonna do that tonight because I forgot my salt, but I highly recommend doing it. It looks really cool. I've done it with a few other paintings before. Oh, I almost regret not having it tonight, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll use my fingers and make the little bubbles that way. So yeah, uh, now I have my outside. I've got my background pretty with how much how I want it to be. So what I'm gonna do next is fill in my jellies a bit more. So I still have my red and I still have my purple and I'm going to come back in and give my jellies some more definition, okay? Because we don't want them to get lost in, at sea. That would not be very good. Lost at sea jellies, how sad. I'm using my thin taper brush. Once again, my favorite. It's how I always end up with, I swear. And I'm just coming around the edges of timber. <laughs> uh, yes, with watercolor. Yes, use the salt with watercolor cleanly. I imagine it would look really cool and give it a neat texture with uh, acrylic, but I haven't done that. So if you try it with the, and the texture comes out cool, let me know. I'd be fascinated to hear about it. I'm just giving some definition to our jellies now. It's almost like uh, <laughs> if you enjoyed it as a kid or if your kids enjoy it, it's like SpongeBob SquarePants. Got your jellies, right? Just trying to give him some definition so he pops out. We don't want a shy jellyfish. They need to be pronounced. Uh, otherwise they can be quite dangerous. Lots of flowing, soft lines. You can go out as far as you want. Your jellies are totally okay with that. Doing soft little dots too, just to create some movement. You can see the jellies are working with their way across the ocean. And I know this is a simple painting, but simple things can be really satisfying too. Colors bleed together, that's fine. Don't worry about it. It's the ocean. Everything ends in the ocean one way or another. Everything ends up there. So I have love for a jellyfish. I'm gonna work on the other ones too, don't worry, but I'm pretty happy with this guy. He's got smoke movements, flow. You can tell he wants to be there. Now, 
let's work on the tiny little guy, this medium one down here. Let's give him some definition. Make him pop out of the page. He's an important part of the gang. Someday, I really hope that I can make it back to the Caribbean. That would be a lot of fun for myself. I would really enjoy that. Maybe someday. Recently, I got to go to Florida, and I was a complete beach bum, to be honest. All I did was lay on the beach and drink pina coladas and play in the water. That was it, pretty much. Oh, and I read a few books, because you're on the beach, so that's what you do. <laughs> it was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful like three or four days in the sun just enjoying myself one of the nights there was a beautiful sunset so of course I ran all the way back to the beach from my hotel and just we had a blast it was my mom and I we were fully clothed and jumping into the into the gulf we wanted to get wet it was great the water was warm and toasty and the sun was just gorgeous and yellow and the pinks and purples as it was going down. Ugh, I cannot describe it to you with enough attention to detail. It was beautiful. And that's all we did. That whole trip was basically just be a bunch of beach bumps. We had, oh, we went to like three or four different beaches and we found our favorite. And that's where we stayed. And we, I mean, we did the Florida Keys as well. We went down there and, or not the, not the Florida Keys. We went to the Everglades, yes, the Everglades. That was fun, I enjoyed it. Um, but let me tell you what, those crocs, they're nothing to contend with. I'm not a big fan of those crocodiles. Holy goodness, no thanks. Also, it's not so much the crocodiles that are terrifying, it's the pythons. Apparently there's pythons down there that are just like 18 feet long sometimes. It is crazy. Goodness. So I wasn't a big fan of the pythons for the crocodiles, but, or alligators, sorry. Alligators, crocodiles are in salt water. My goodness. Ah, all that wine. <laughs> all that wine. I know, I'm terrible. Blathering on about crocodiles when I really mean alligators. <laughs> Silly me. I guess I'm just so focused on my jellies that I wasn't thinking about the correct terminology. Whoopsies. Hopefully I don't have crocodiles under my bed tonight. <laughs> They'll be coming after me and be like, uh, excuse me, silly lady. Why? Can't you tell the difference? I'm so sorry. I'm just letting them all flow. A couple little dots here and there. Like I said, I like to create the movement. I enjoy that. Silly little piece of paintbrush out of the water, out of my painting. Oh yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Cleveland took a photo of the sunset, and it was the a heart. And totally paint that. That would be gorgeous. I, I, yeah, I'm into it, Cleveland. Totally. Oh hi, Pam. Hi, Charlie. Thanks for joining. All right, so I've got some of my pinks and my purples. Well, I got my pinks. Now I need to get my purples done, huh? So I'm gonna go back in. I'm gonna do this little soft guy in the background here. I wanna pull him up to the foreground. Just 
little jelly. He can't be lost. He will not be lost among the pack. He's a brilliant individual and should be reflected as so. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. <laughs> Audrey is back here laughing at me. This is my stream of consciousness when I paint sometimes, guys. This is just what happens. Uh, no, I don't smoke or I didn't do anything. I'm literally only having a glass of wine. And look, look, it's hardly been any. I think I have like four or five sips. That's it. This is the stream of consciousness that happens when I'm painting. Uh, I, I'm glad you guys find it entertaining and want to tune in for it. And you like my painting. So there's that, right? At least it's at least it's entertaining to watch somebody paint for a few hours at this point and you can laugh about stuff. Audrey just thinks it's funny. Audrey is the owner of Art Space, by the way, so she is my cameraman, camera woman behind the scenes, so shout out to her, say thanks to her. She's doing a great job. We had a whole bunch of technical difficulties at the beginning. We managed to get through, so good job. Thanks for hanging in. So definitely a shout out to Audrey for that, but Audrey's in the background just chuckling at my stream of consciousness because... Uh, this is the stuff she probably doesn't get to hear so much through the week. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, a lot of talking, dry throat, I'll drink more wine. Sorry. I hope everybody's staying safe. And I hope that you, if you can wear a mask, you are wearing a mask. Um... I know here in Chicago, it's kind of important to considering everything. I try to do my part and do that as well. I don't want me getting sick to bother somebody else getting sick, especially if it's somebody, you know, frontline worker, healthcare worker who can actually do something to help somebody. Yeah, I would feel terrible. So I've been doing my part. I hope you are contributing, staying safe. I know it's a little bit easier in the rural parts of the world. Chicago is just a little bit crazy wild, so everybody is trying to do their part. And I think that's about all we can do right now. And sometimes all you can do is create art to make other people happy and enjoy their Friday evenings, like me. So that's what I'm doing, right? <coughs> Again, I am not sick myself. I am terribly allergic to tree pollen though. It, it's delightfully spring out there and I'm so glad. But I can see that pollen on those trees and it's just, mm, yuck. Oh, Audrey, Audrey, Cleveland's saying hi to you. He's saying hi on Facebook. <laughs> Don't worry, Cleveland, we see you. You're there. She says hi back, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Cleveland. That's Audrey, by the way, that's just messaged you. <laughs> I'm gonna get my little jelly back in here. I tried to dress accordingly for you guys today. I've actually cosplayed as a mermaid before. So this actually worked out really well because I already had all the pieces for it. Uh, and I've done the makeup for it many times, so if you ever want a tutorial on how to do uh, makeup for mermaids, hit me up, because girl knows how to do that pretty good. I even have somebody who can make you the seashell stuff, all of that, so. And it's actually pretty easy to do yourself. So. Yes, I cosplay. I've definitely done that. I definitely want to do more. I'm such a nerd, guys, but I appreciate all forms of art, so I guess it's not that bad. I guess it's not that bad. Oh, can we do a recap? Pam doesn't know what we're doing. Oh, hi Pam! Yeah, I could do a quick recap. 
No problem. Uh, so this is, we're doing Under the Sea, hence your mermaid hostess. Uh, uh, we're doing, this is with watercolors, and this is just a simple art set that I got from like the dollar store. It really didn't cost hardly anything. I've used kids ones before, so NBB there. Uh, and we've got our water, some tapered brushes. This one's my favorite here, so it's nothing spe special to it, but it works. Uh, and we're just making jellyfish. That's all. Relaxing, calming, delightful jellyfish. Because it's starting to get nice out. 70 degree weather, bless. It was really nice. And I felt like jellyfish were just a good way of celebrating that. Pam Being in the ocean. Australia were everything would kill you. Oh, that's fair, Pam. Pam, don't do, be careful of the jellies there. I know that they're very, very bad down there. So that's what we're going to paint them so they stay safely on the page and cannot sting us. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. So I do not want anybody harmed in the making of these jellyfish. <laughs> that would be no bueno. Keeping in with some more tentacles, a little trailing off that they do. Just enjoying it. I only have one really big guy left. I think I'm just gonna let him be nice and pronounced. He's gonna be a big guy. Big guy. Okay. I see with the water that has finally dried over in this area spot needs a little bit of TLC. So I'm gonna blend these things together. It's like a you have, ladies when you're doing makeup you just blend and blend and blend or a reference to uh, what is it Edward Scissorhands. I loved other Edward Scissorhands as a kid. Uh, Edward Scissorhands and the mom the, she's the Mary Kay lady. You just blend and blend and blend. Blending is the key. Yeah, I was a Tim Burton kid. <laughs> no judgment. No judgment. So I'm just going to blend these little spots that I'm not terribly fond of together. NBD. No big deal. is the beauty of watercolors. If you don't like something, add more water. You can blend it together. It's delightful. I'm just using my fingers, making more bubbles. Kind of like that effect that it had. Seriously guys, a lot of the time I just screw around I don't like something, I just keep messing with it. Be persistent. Be persistent. If, uh, if you're still not happy with it, best advice I can do, give you is take six feet away, from, like take six steps back from it, take a photo of it with your phone, take, take yourself back from it. Uh, if you do that, as soon as you do, I swear to you, you will spot the thing that is finally, that's bugging you about your piece. I do this a lot, especially when I'm working on my own pieces. Oh gosh, they drive me up a wall sometimes. I literally have to put it away or like set it down for a few hours. And then I have cats, so that can be dangerous. And the cats can jump on things. Cats can eat things. I'm terrified for the day when they step on my oil paints on a painting and they'll have little cat prints walking around. Oh, that'd be a mess to clean up. Yeah, no. So be careful, but you got this, okay? All right, so I like that. That looks a lot nicely, much nicely, much nicer blending, much nicer blend. So I'm happy. So I'm gonna leave that like it is for now. I'm going to use 
use my purple again. Go around the edges. And now I'm going to dilute it. And just work it down. And I'm going to let the water do the work. It's going to bleed. It's going to get fabulous. And I'm excited. See some of that nice bleeding on the side over here. Oh, yes. Some dimension. This is not a two dimensional jellyfish. Not anymore. Now, this is a three dimensional scary fish. Not to be confused with my shark. I can only imagine cuddling him. He's so he seems so soft. Get some tentacles. Oh yeah. Very nice. Use some more of my purple. And jellies are kind of just going their own way. They do that. I guess they even have like a migratory path and everything. Gosh. I would bless you Pam for being down in Australia because I would not want to live there too much considering I know everything down there wants to kill you. It's terrifying. I've seen some documentaries on that stuff and I'm just like yeah no at least here in the states everything doesn't want to kill you that moves so <laughs> I'm sorry my heart goes out to you fam Whew. you are much braver than I am yeah I've also had that same thing happen uh Cleveland so when you paint on paper with acrylic a lot of the times it bubbles up what i can recommend so that way it doesn't bubble up as much is if you tape it down on the ends that seems to help a lot because my paper is bubbling up here some but not nearly as much as it would have because i taped it down and i just use painter's tape on this is painter's tape on a piece of giant butcher's paper because I didn't feel like getting out of board and being all fancy. I kind of like the really painted up look. I like to add to the motif myself. <laughs> so yeah, uh, if it does bubble, you can usually just add less paint, uh, let it dry, paint over it, or you can taping it down, those kind of things working in combination will help it's pretty common for it to bubble though if you're not working on like a canvas so don't worry about it uh cardboard would work a little bit better too just if you're looking for other alternatives happy to help no expert but sometimes it helps to have uh, another pair of eyes just give any thoughts And we do have classes going on right now, actually. Uh, we had a paint and sip happen last night that went really well. It was all done online. You just came and picked up your supplies and it was a, uh, goodness, it was starry night. So that went off very well. Uh, I got to see some of the pieces and they were fantastic. You can check out <clears throat> Art Spaces webpage uh, Facebook, Instagram, they're posted on there so you can see everything. It looked really great. So that's one of the classes. We've got kids classes on Saturday. There's uh, fine arts classes. There is, um, oh, of course, my class. Uh, mine is Friday. It's every Friday. Right now we're just doing everything online. But if you're also interested, uh, we can set up something to do private classes as well. We can do that via internet, Zoom, you just pick up the supplies here and we're happy to sit down and paint with you. I know I am. 
I probably won't be dressed up as a mermaid during the class, but if you request that, I, I guess I could oblige. I guess I could oblige. Oh darn, I have to put on mermaid makeup for the evening. Oh, how terrible. Uh, I actually kind of really like doing makeup, so. It's like painting, just like this, but on your face. So, you know, don't worry. I got my jellies. They're all happy. I'm gonna take a little bit of blue. I'm gonna do pretty thick. And I'm just gonna lightly go through my tentacles. Real soft. Just so I can see a little bit of movement on the, in the water happening with the jellies. do one other thing that I thought was super cute. I'm going to take some more of my blue. Just like this over on the side. Get a nice little setup. I'm going to grab my tiny brush. I'm surprised. I'm actually using my tiny brush today, guys. I don't usually use it. I'll take my tiny brush. And I'm going to put in little tiny circles. We're gonna get little bubbles. Little bubbles amongst all of this. Bubbles have no particular plan set. So wherever you feel like putting a bubble, put a bubble, okay? Just soft little guys. I'm not doing too deep of a bubble or too deep of a color for the bubbles. But I wanted to add them. We've got lots of movement in here. And I just thought it would look really like a nice addition into things. I spend a lot of my time either painting at home or uh, <laughs> on Instagram looking at other people's paintings to get other people's ideas so that way I have my own ideas. So I like to take inspiration from Instagram a lot. That's what tends to happen in my days. <laughs> I'm just gonna add a little bit more here and there, bubbles and dots. Really like this. It's come out very nicely. And this is just a very simple painting. Sometimes simple things bring the most joy. You can do some darker bubbles, lighter bubbles, tiny bubbles, bigger bubbles. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, hi, Tanya. Thanks for coming. Not entirely sure always what camera to be looking at when I say hello to you both. So I, I, I always say hi to both cameras because you're all important. Just come in with some more dots, little bits, little bubbles. Soft, happy jellyfish, non-threatening jellyfish, not planning to hurt you, okay? Safe jellies, I promise. These guys want nothing other than to be your friend.
adding a little bit of blues just along the outer side with my tiny paintbrush making the name look nice and round in depth take a little of my pink same thing Jellies have their own little patterns. I'm gonna put a little, some polka dots basically. Just on the top. Like little freckles. Jelly freckles. Yeah. Hashtag jelly freckles, right? <laughs> like I said, you guys get to be privy to my stream of consciousness that is uh, pretty unique. We'll put it that way. Pretty unique. Oh, nice. Uh, Audrey Cleveland says that he just shared a painting that he did. Um, Oh, on Instagram. Yeah. Okay, I'll have a look. So we're gonna take check it out. We're gonna check it out in Cleveland. I can't at the moment, but she'll. Nah, I got my background. I got my assistant on this. I guess technically I'm her assistant, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Space. Did you hashtag it for art space? I think he sent it to the messenger. We're looking, don't worry. Technology has been super challenging for us this evening, so. We're just grinning, bearing it, doing our best. Just like our jellyfishes. Doing our best, right? Add a little bit of water up in here. I think I put a little bit, just a touch of green. And then I probably will add just a little bit of yellow too. Because as you know, when you get closer to the surface, your water gets lighter and lighter. I'm just gonna do a little bit, a little bit. I'm using all sorts of brushes today, guys. Look at me go. I actually grabbed a few good ones. Oh, they're all good, but. Tell Cleveland I got his painting. Oh, we've got the painting, Cleveland. So I'm gonna look at it afterwards, but Audrey, general opinion, she gives it a big thumbs up, so. It's his tulip on glass. Yes. I. Audrey's telling me it's your tulips on glass, so I can't wait to take a look at it. That'll be great. I did tulips a few weeks ago, so I want to see what it looks like. Yes, yes, my pretty. Audrey, I have a paper towel. This. I'm gonna blot out some of the color that I added because I don't. I think I went too heavy on it, but no mistakes. Only happy accidents. Thank you, Bob Ross. I like to quote him a lot in my stuff. That's what happens. So I'm just gonna just use my and just blot it. Sometimes you add too much water. 
Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. Got some of my green, a little bit of yellow. Looks great. Softened it a little bit. I just need to add my bubbles again. I ruined my bubbles. I didn't ruin anything though. Not really. Not really. Give it a minute or two. I'm gonna let it dry. Have a glass of some wine. Ah, yes, yes. Hashtag it for sure. Then we can all see it. Awesome. Thanks, Cleveland. Oh. Bit of wine. Now, I'm pretty happy with this. It's light flowing, it's relaxing. So I'm going to say that I am happy. I'm going to let it dry a little bit. I'm going to take my tiny, tiny paintbrush and I'm going to sign my work. I hope you signed your work too, Cleveland, because at some point somebody's going to want that little piece from you. You have to show it loud and proud. So I'm going to sign my work down here in the end corner. And I just do my initials, but if you want to sign your full name, you can do whatever you like. I just like my initials. I think they're really cute and they're pretty simple. So I always do my initials and then I like to also put the year. And we're just going to do a quick little two zero for 2020. Cause I've done enough paintings from week to week and year to year that I can kind of easily lose track of when I did this piece and when I did somebody else's and yeah so it helps it helps a lot all right so I've signed my piece I'm gonna throw my paintbrushes in there um, and I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a nice relaxing uh, meditation. So if you give me a second, I'm gonna load up a nice meditation for us. I will be guiding it, but I like to always put some music in the background. So let's see. Turn up the volume. All right. So now we've painted our lovely jellyfish. We're calm, we're happy. And I'm gonna invite you to do a nice meditation. chair, couch, wherever you are, okay? Just settle in, roll your shoulders, crack your neck, do little circles, stretch it out, Ooh, just like that, get all the pops and cracks out of you. Whenever you're ready, 
going to have you place your hands on your legs, on your thighs, facing up. I'm going to have you close your eyes and take a breath. to the water currents floating in the lungs. And let ourselves sink safely into that water. You can do fine. You're breathing even better now. You're just like a fish at your heels. And you're free to move out into the water. So we're going to gently swim down away from the surface into the big deep blue mm -hmm. see our fish friends flashes of beautiful colors yellow, orange, blue as they streak on by just wanted to wave hello as we sink deeper and deeper I see a whale slide by us giants imposing he just wants to say hello Welcome into his waters. He invites you to come along with him. So we'll grab a fin and just swim with him as he goes along, safe, gliding. Majestic. He's taking us on a tour of his home. Taking us past the jellies. The field of jellyfish that we painted. Floating softly. Unimposing. Non-threatening. Let the 
distress be washed away from you by the warm ocean of hearts. Let our whale friend carry away you away from all of your woes. Fill this gift for you. Please find us. And if you feel like it's too much, just know you can always come back to this friends. Our jellyfish friends, our fish friends, our whale friends. We're all here in the ocean waiting for us. We simply just have to float into the water, and you'll come back. Anytime you start to feel stressed, breathe. Breathe life into that spot. Imagine that in your mind. And just breathe. That's all you have to do today. Everything else was secondary. You can hear the dolphins chittering. It reminds you of children laughing. And it's calming. It makes you smile. you miss the warm land, it makes you miss the warm sand beneath your toes, so when you tell your whale friend it's time to go, and he takes you back, back to the coast, back to the surface, you can feel the sun warming your face as you float in the water. You can feel the gentle currents bring you closer to the sea, to the coast, closer to the beach. Stand up in our mind. Let's start to walk back to the beach. Feel the surf on your thighs, calves. Slowly start to take your feet, wiggle your toes. In the sand and in your life, wiggle your fingers, wiggle your shoulders. Take one last deep breath in. say thank you for joining us. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you could come. I hope to see you again next week. Till then, stay safe. Be safe. And remember, you're loved. Don't forget tonight.